Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. At this time, we are looking at an article written by Edith Stein or St. Teresa Benedict of the Cross entitled The Prayer of the Church. We are specifically focusing on an extract of the article, number two, Solitary Dialogue with God as the Prayer of the Church. Teresa was telling us that the Day of Atonement is the Old Testament antecedent of Good Friday. The ram is slaughtered for the sins of the people, and it represents the spotless Lamb of God. The high priest descended from Aaron foreshadows the eternal high priest, just as Christ anticipated his sacrificial death during the Last Supper so he also anticipated the high priestly prayer. He did not have to bring for himself an offering for sin because he was without sin. He did not have to await the hour prescribed by the law, nor seek out the Holy of Holies in the temple. He stands always and everywhere before the face of God, His own soul is the Holy of Holies. It is not only God's dwelling, but is also essentially united to God. He does not have to conceal himself from God by a protective cloud of incense because he gazes upon the uncovered face of the Eternal One and has nothing to fear. Looking at the Father will not kill him, and he unlocks the mystery of the high priest's realm. All who belong to him may now hear how the holy of holies of his heart, he speaks to his father. They are to experience what is going on and are to learn to speak to the father in their own hearts. The Savior's high priestly prayer unveils the mystery of the inner life, the indwelling of God in the soul, in the mysterious depths, the work of salvation was prepared, accomplished itself in concealment and silence. And so it will continue until the union of all is actually accomplished at the end of time. The decision for the redemption was conceived in this eternal silence of the inner divine life. The power of the Holy Spirit came over the Virgin, praying alone in the hidden silent room in Nazareth, and brought about the incarnation of the Savior. Congregated around the silently praying Virgin, the emergent church awaited the promised new outpouring of the Spirit that was to quicken it into inner clarity and fruitful outer effectiveness. In the night of blindness that God laid over his eyes, Saul awaited in solitary prayer the Lord's answer to his question, What do you want me to do? In solitary prayer, Peter was prepared for his mission to the Gentiles. And so it has remained all through the centuries in the silent dialogue with their Lord of souls consecrated to God, the events of the church history are prepared, visible far and wide, renew the face of the earth. Amen. So this article will be continued. I hope you're enjoying um, Edith Stein's interpretation of the solitary dialogue with God. And may God bless you and yours. Amen.